In the realm of workplace dynamics, psychological safety is critical for fostering a thriving, innovative and collaborative environment. It is the essence of feeling safe, respected and valued, creating an atmosphere where you can voice your thoughts, take risks and contribute without the fear of reprisal or judgment. In this video, I'm exploring psychological safety in the workplace, what it means and what you should do if it's missing. I'm Jo Banks. I've been a professional executive business coach for almost 15 years and I'm sharing what I know. Before we get into the content of today's video, just a quickie, I've decided that when I hit a thousand subscribers, which won't be long now, I will start to do live so that I can interact with all of you in real time. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get an alert whenever I finally do go live. I'm so excited to do that. So thanks very much for your support. The concept of psychological safety is not just a buzzword. It's an essential component that shapes organisational culture, employee well-being, and the overall success of organisations. But sadly, it's missing in many companies. Understanding psychological safety in the workplace. Psychological safety within a work context embodies an environment where you feel comfortable expressing your opinions, ideas, concerns, and even acknowledging mistakes without the dread of adverse consequences. It's the assurance that you won't be penalised or marginalised for sharing differing viewpoints or challenging the status quo. This climate of safety encourages open communication, trust and mutual respect amongst team members. It's not about avoiding disagreements, but rather fostering an atmosphere where healthy conflicts can arise, leading to constructive discussions and innovative solutions. Employees within psychologically safe workplaces feel empowered to be their authentic selves, promoting a culture of inclusivity, collaboration and growth. Why you're entitled to psychological safety at work? Just as physical safety is a fundamental right in any workplace, psychological safety is equally as indispensable. You are entitled to psychological safety because it's an essential component of your overall well-being, job satisfaction and personal growth. Feeling safe and supported enables you to bring your best self to work, enhancing your creativity, productivity and engagement. Psychological safety also correlates with reduced stress levels and improved mental health, contributing to a healthier work-life balance. When you feel secure expressing yourself and taking calculated risks, you're more likely to contribute innovative ideas, share valuable insights and actively engage in collaborative efforts. It's a foundational element that nurtures a sense of belonging, loyalty and commitment to the organisation's goals. Signs of a lack of psychological safety. Recognising the absence of psychological safety in the workplace is crucial. And again, I say it in lots of my videos, awareness is everything because we can't change what we're not aware of. So some of the signs, because it can manifest in various different ways. So let's take a look at those. Firstly, we have fear of speaking up. If you feel like you have to hesitate or refrain from sharing your thoughts or concerns during discussions or meetings, that's a bit of a red flag. Avoidance of risk taking. If you have a reluctance to propose new ideas or solutions due to the fear of failure, backlash, being shot down, being laughed at, micromanagement and control. Overly controlling behaviours from leadership that restrict your autonomy and discourage independent decision making. 
unresolved conflict, a culture where conflicts are ignored, mishandled or not addressed, leading to tension and discomfort within the team. Lack of trust, feeling apprehensive about expressing yourself due to past experiences of criticism, ridicule or marginalisation. What to do if you don't feel psychologically safe? If you find yourself in a work environment where psychological safety is lacking, there are proactive steps you can take. Acknowledge your feelings, recognise and validate your emotions. Understanding that feeling psychologically unsafe is a genuine concern and it deserves your attention. Seek support. Connect with a trusted colleague, mentor or HR rep to discuss your concerns confidentially. They might be able to offer you guidance or initiate conversations that work towards addressing the issue. Provide feedback. If you feel comfortable, offer constructive feedback to your immediate boss or other leadership about the lack of psychological safety. However, you need to be specific about what you've observed, the behaviours or the incidents that are affecting the team's dynamics. I've said this in many of the other videos that I've done on narcissism and bullying, that you should be keeping logs of any interactions because that evidence is crucial if at some point you want to raise it further. Encourage open dialogue. Advocate for open discussions within your team or department, emphasising the importance of a safe and respectful environment for everyone. Explore resources. Look for workshops, training sessions or other resources offered by the organisation that focus on building psychological safety and healthy communication in the workplace. However, I'm guessing they're probably missing from your work environment if you're feeling psychologically unsafe. Seek external support. If the situation persists and is starting to affect your well-being, whether that's physically or mentally, consider seeking support from external resources such as counselling, therapy or a professional coach like myself. I work with lots of clients who are feeling harassed, bullied, intimidated, psychologically unsafe at work. So there are lots of coaches out there that can help you work through that. Next, we have seek alternative employment. And I know from your comments that this is a controversial one. But unfortunately, for many of us, things are not going to change despite our best efforts. If this is your experience, I strongly recommend seeking a new job sooner rather than later. I wish I'd done that when I was going through my workplace bullying. I stayed way too long and it really did affect both my physical and mental health. As I've said in many of my narcissism in the workplace and bullying videos, the longer you stay in a toxic work environment, the more your confidence, self-esteem and self-worth will be eroded. Not if, it absolutely will be eroded. If you stay to that point, getting a new job is going to be so much harder because you'll no longer believe in yourself or your abilities. So although urging you to find a new job may seem harsh, I would always recommend getting out sooner rather than later. If looking for a new job seems way too daunting, I've got an online training program, Your Dream Job, which contains various courses on CV writing, interview skills, job hunting. I'll leave the details in the description below. Please don't use those things as an excuse to not find a new job. The longer you stay, the worse it will get. These things never improve on their own. The role of leadership and organisations. If you're a leader, you have responsibilities too. Creating and maintaining psychological safety isn't solely the responsibility of individuals or the people above you. Organisational leadership plays a pivotal role in cultivating and nurturing such an environment. You should lead by example, demonstrating openness to feedback, encouraging diverse perspectives and fostering a culture that values inclusivity and collaboration. Communication channels should be transparent and employees should feel assured that their voices are heard and valued. 
Organisations can also implement practices and initiatives that prioritise psychological safety. This might include regular training on effective communication, conflict resolution strategies and creating feedback mechanisms that encourage open dialogue. Establishing clear guidelines and protocols for respectful interactions and providing support systems for employees experiencing difficulties can significantly contribute to a psychologically safe workplace. The wrap up. Psychological safety is not a luxury. It's a necessity in modern workplaces. It's the bedrock upon which teams thrive. Innovation flourishes and individuals grow both professionally and personally. As an employee, it is a fundamental right to both physical and psychological safety at work. If you feel like you're not getting that, it's time to take a serious look at your options before your physical and mental health deteriorates to such a point that you become ill. There are always options. And having helped over six and a half thousand people find jobs, I can tell you that there are far more jobs out there than you might think. You don't have to stay in a toxic work environment. Get out sooner rather than later and use a combination of the tools I've mentioned in this video until you're able to do so. What next? If you're feeling particularly stressed or anxious about your current situation, I highly recommend watching two of my recent videos where I discuss practical tools for helping you regulate your nervous system. The first video gives you tools that you can use immediately when you feel triggered. The second has techniques that can help you build your resilience and your mental toughness in the longer term. If you've experienced a toxic work environment, I'd love to hear about your experiences. If you feel comfortable doing so, leave them in the comments section below. I read everything and I genuinely love interacting with you all. As always, please like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss a thing. As I said at the beginning of the video, I've decided that once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing lives to answer all of your burning questions. So that's a further reason to hit that subscribe and notification bell. Finally, thank you to everybody who watches until the very end. And thank you so much for your continued support. It really does mean the world to me.